Hi, I'm Tracy. I'm Caroline. Anita. I'm Leslie. I'm Jodie. And we are from MBS Muscle and Body Shape Gym in Richmond. Exclusive collection.
My name is Michael Taban. I'm the, the director, founder, and owner of Muscle and Body Shape Gymnasium. Um, we specialise in female body sculpting. We generally put 50 to 60 females on stage per year. Um, here next to me, this is Caroline. She's one of my athletes that is competing this year. She'll be competing in, um, in Sydney and also flying over to New York to compete in the WNBF World Championships. Basically, to compete in a, in a world title such as New York City, um, you have to qualify prior to the event. So we ha we've got the Asia Pacifics or a national title, and if we come in the top three, then we take them further to the world titles. Um, basically, we train out four times a week for about an hour a day. Um, we do about a 10-week diet. It's um, it's really healthy, healthy kind of nutritional plan rather than a diet as such. Um, do a bit of cardio, about an hour walking a day. Um, and yeah, once we get to the stage in New York City, um, we've got a few different rounds of competing. There's a few different divisions in the female categories, such as sports model or fitness division. There's the figure and the fit body. Um, most of these divisions with the muscularity rounds, there are five to six poses, um, compulsory poses that were required to perform on stage um, simultaneously. Um, on cue with the judges, so basically there's the front double bicep pose, the side tricep, the side chest, not necessarily um, muscle mass as such because it is natural bodybuilding so it's, we're not required to have a great deal of, of muscle but it's rather um, the tone and the fit and the healthy. The healthy. Um, from going to an Asia Pacific or a national title and you follow on through to a world title, um, basically the Federation assists you in getting to um, the world title which is generally held in, in the US um, and the winner of the overall title um, gets a thousand dollars prize money towards their um, competition over there for their flights and accommodation to New York um, and if you go through to New York and you win the title there there's a bit of extra prize money in the US as well um, as well as winning a, a world title on natural bodybuilding. I think the other, um, the other side is when an athlete um, is successful. They get um, media coverage, which creates sponsorship for them. Um, and if they are interested in sort of working in the industry, it gives them a good head start um, to whichever way they're going. Whether they're going to be a trainer or whether they're going to be a gym owner or um, whether they want to do write-ups in magazines, or whatever the case uh, may be. Um, but I have had lots of athletes that have become trainers themselves. Uh, I actually have a couple that work here for me now. Um, and these are my top ranking athletes.